Good morning, folks. We've only got a couple top stories today, but one tickles the eyes and imagination, and the other is extremely important for the ongoing natural event in our solar system. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on our star were very calm and quiet. We see the southern coronal hole looking more cohesive by the hour, active regions absent from the Earth-facing side. The solar wind calmed even more. Stability is the best descriptor of both the plasma stream and the geomagnetic conditions. Let's take a quick look at the super typhoon. Beast sits in the Philippine Sea and is sliding northward slowly like the last one. Eyes open as it makes landfall tomorrow night in the southern Japanese islands. Eyes open near me in the new valley of the sun as well. Jetstream thinks it's funny and is planning a prank on us next week. Nobody here is going to be laughing as the temperature will swing from the 90s on Sunday to snow and the 20s on Tuesday. For those Celsius users, that's 32 to negative 5 in two days. Stupid jet stream. Moving on to a lightning event in Oklahoma Wednesday night, it's being reported that an insane outburst of lightning struck within an already insane outburst of lightning. As many as 30,000 strikes in an 8-mile stretch makes for more energy than the storm should release in such an area. And while the upwards earth discharge bolts or the very bright super bolts do catch the most attention, we should also be continuing to see the macro scale shifts at the total storm level as well. Folks, we're off to a solar system that likely started out peaceful and like this, but something happened, and whether it was an unlucky orbital event or the birth of a planet, something misaligned the rings around it. The inner ring is not tilted as the outer two, and they don't even really think it's close. Using ALMA, Muse, and Sphere, they were able to get both the rings and the swirling gas and dust of the disk from multiple light views, and in the center of the inclined ring, they believe there are three stars one holding down its orbital curve while the other two careen around each other and their companion triplet. This would be one of the most incredible systems to actually visit and watch play out. With just Hubble, you can't pick out much of the triplet, and before these new radioscopes, it was but a smudge on the screen. And lastly, folks, the Stingray Nebula, a recurrent nova remnant surrounding its remaining star has had its before and after photos analyzed and they discover considerable changes and are reanalyzing the initial outburst. Yes, I might have a different M word, but miniature nova is about right, isn't it? Indeed, this nova might qualify as one of those that is smaller than the long period recurrent micronova we expect from our sun. And in the last year, we've seen more of those smaller nova events discovered and characterized in the journals than in the two to three decades before. Our idea about what stars can do, like a snake shedding their skin, is changing. And in terms of the ring feature seen in the Stingray remnant, it does bring us back to the full 360 ring nova model from NCAR. The science inches closer every day. Unfortunately, so does the magnetic excursion of this planet and the next solar micronova. We greatly appreciate your support. Queue up the 30 or 40 expected questions in the comment section about the timing of the reversal or micronova from people who could just watch the Cosmic Disaster movie and playlist listed right below the video in which we tell you to watch all the time and which is also on our channel page and suspiciousobservers.org. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.